Hello everybody, welcome back to Imagine Your Art. My name is Shannon and I am here at the Fairfield County District Library. Uh, we have done a couple of artists so far. Today's artist, her name is Amina Robinson. She was born in 1940. She just passed away in 2015, so she's another recent artist. Uh, she combined formal and folk, folk art. Uh, she uses complex mixed media in her art, so all kinds of things combined together. She mixes her media. Uh, she was known for recycling all kinds of objects, things like fabric, buttons, old jewelry, bottle caps, clothespins, um, all kinds of things she would add into her art, making it kind of a folk art. Uh, she also was known for making sculptures, and she made those sculptures out of what she called hogmog. That's an interesting word, hogmog. And this was something she learned from her father. Hogmog is a clay-like material mixed with mud, sticks, leaves, and glue. So that could be something fun to try sometime, like making fancy mud pies, only she turned them into sculptures, these mud, stick, and glue combinations. Uh, so hogmog is something she was known for. Uh, also interesting, she grew up in Columbus, so she is from Ohio. She lives right up there in Columbus. Uh, she also graduated from the Columbus College of Art and Design, so she um, taught up there and worked up there in Columbus. Uh, she was also friends with Elijah Pierce. He's another folk artist. If you ever go to the Columbus Museum of Art in Columbus, you can see there's a whole room dedicated to Elijah Pierce, um, also a folk, folk artist. And you can see Amina's work there as well. You might have also seen her work in other areas. Um, if you've ever been to Ohio University, the floor of the Baker Center has one of her murals uh, called Queen Dexter Village. So next time, if you're ever up there at Ohio University, if you go to school there someday, take a look at the floor in the Baker Center and you'll see some of her work. Okay. We also have a book about her. This is something you can check out from our library. Um, it's called Amina's World. So it's all about Amina Robinson. It's an activity book and children's guide about artist Amina Brenda Lynn Robinson. It's by Carol Miller Genshat, and she is from Columbus also, from the museum up there. Um, so her name, Amina's name originally was Brenda. She changed it uh, to Amina when she went to Africa. Um, let me show you some of the, her artwork. example of what she called Raganon. Um, yeah, I'm sure I'm not saying it right. <laughs> but it's a work, a continuous artwork uh, that can be continuously added to. So it's something that it was never finished. She considered it unfinished because she could always add to it. So Raganon. And if you look closely, you can see all kinds of things. There's buttons, old jewelry, pins, a lot of fabric and more buttons, some of her drawings she's included in here. Uh, this is Elijah Pierce. Uh, there's also a photograph of Elijah Pierce in this piece of artwork. And this is Elijah Pierce. So it's kind of a artwork dedicated to him and his folk art. So that is one style of art. This is an example of her hogmog artwork. So the people in the wagon are made out of hogwash, but she's also added all kinds of other things, lots and lots of buttons. This whole road that the wagon is on is made out of buttons. Sticks and twine, clothespins, she includes all kinds of things in her artwork. So let's see. And then there's this piece of art. You might recognize the people in this picture. This is the Obama family that she has done. So she painted them first. She even included Bo, their dog. And then she's included bits of pieces of fabric and buttons in the picture. So what we're going to do today is include things from your bag, different bits and pieces, to create a picture. Oh, and there's a picture of Amina Robinson. So it's 
a very nice book. There are also different activities uh, in the book. We don't want you to write in our book, but it's an activity idea. Uh, you can also buy these books at the Columbus Museum of Art and Design. But all kinds of good arts and crafts ideas in there, as well as information about the Mina and her world. Uh, I should have showed you one other, one other picture. Besides people, she also did village or city pictures. So this is where Amina Robinson grew up in Columbus, Ohio. It's called Poindexter Village. It says it's her village. This is how she painted it. This is how she saw it. So she's got the whole neighborhood here on Market Street. Uh, all kinds of activities going on, lots of bright colors. And so that was one thing that you might think about drawing in your artwork today too. Your neighborhood or people or whatever it is that comes to mind, you can try drawing. So what is in the bag? Let's take a look. First we have your instructions and there's a little bit of Market Street, the picture we just saw and another family picture. A little bit of information about her and a little bit of directions, but this is really a mixed media art project. You can make whatever you would like to make. We just had some interesting shapes of construction paper, instruction shapes and colors, stars, lots of them here. Also a bag that has all kinds of buttons and foam letters that you can include in your artwork. Yarn little bits of pieces of paper, crepe paper, or shapes, and lots of little bits of fabric hmm. that kind of looks like a dress. So you can use um, all kinds of things that are in your bag or things that you have at home, bottle caps, clothes pins, um, paper, construction paper, um, magazines, old jewelry. Uh, anything you want to add to your mixed media collection. So what would you do with all of this stuff? Well, I'm not too bad for right now. Think about what you would like to draw. Maybe your neighborhood, maybe your family, maybe a pet, uh, your favorite thing to do, your school. You can come up with anything. Then take your cardboard. It's cardboard. This is a base for gluing all of these bits and pieces. I thought that I might draw my daughters. I have two girls. So I penciled out two girls. I might want to put a tree over here and maybe a sidewalk and flowers. I like flowers. They like flowers. Um, so you might draw something out first. You can give it some background color, like tree. I'm gonna make my tree green make it whatever color you want to make it. Give it some color. Uh, there. That's a tree. You can give it maybe a trunk. The girls. I'm going to use some of the pieces to fill in their clothes. This fabric can make clothes. I might make some stems for flowers. I think maybe I'll use some buttons to make flowers. So I'll put the stems in there, maybe some linen. Um, let's make it a sunny day. Look at it's sunshine up in the corner. So you can color on your board. You can use paint if you have some leftover paint. Um, give the clothes some color. Just kind of an outline of what I want to fill in. And I can give them some hair. Just, just a picture. Just a basic picture. And then I want to fill it in. So I, I know that I have some circles. So I can give them faces. I have a yellow circle, which I think would be good for the sun. Or I have some yellow fabric. I might want to do yellow fabric for the sun. So 
whatever. Have other little bits and pieces of the fabric. Just want to cut it into a circle. So you can cut your fabric. So, yeah, there, in the sun in the corner. Hmm, the tree makes me think of Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. I'm going to put some letters in my tree. Because who doesn't like Chicka Chicka Boom Boom? Some letters in my tree, maybe. Or I could spell out their names or whatever I have the letters for. You know. um, I could make flowers with my buttons, maybe. Oh, I have some of that construction paper. I could turn it into a sidewalk. Or they could be at the park to turn it into a jungle gym or something like that. Um, I have fabric. I cut into pieces. It's kind of like the Obama picture. They use fabric, cheese fabric. So, hmm, a little work. And uh, let's give this man some clothes. Oh, I also have denim. I can cut into pieces. They could be wearing blue jeans. jeans too. Blue jeans. Oh, and hair. I've got yarn. They can be redheads today. Maybe with some yarn. I can use my crayons or my pencil to give them a face maybe. Or I could use buttons to make button eyes. To me they use buttons to make eyes often. And let's make them smile because they're happy to be out here with the Chicka Chicka Boom Boom tree. So you can add, oh, let's add some more flowers. You can make a road out of buttons, lots of buttons. Okay, so once I have the picture the way I want it, let's see, the picture. then I would start gluing everything down one piece at a time. You can do layers. Just start with one layer and then decide to add more things to your picture and layer it up. All kinds of things you can do. You want to use your imagination. It is Imagine Your Story this summer. And see what all you can add to your picture. Here's another picture. So you can do people or you can do towns. So this is one that we did the other day. Some of my letters made words, some of them didn't, but that's okay. You can put whatever you want on there. Um, I thought that the construction paper looked a little bit like buildings, so I decided to make it a city. And with the city, we need a park and a playground. So we have a nice little family playing on the slide, swinging on swings. So there's a swing set. There's a little dog with its leash trailing because it got away from its owner over here, chasing a squirrel because that's what dogs do. Um, Buttons, letters, spray paper, construction paper, layer it however you want to layer it. So think of your favorite things, your favorite places, your favorite people, and see what you can do to make your art project. The glue is for gluing things down. Uh, it can be a little tricky, some of this glue. You might have to take the lid off and kind of get it to start coming out. It's a little bit hard to get it started, but once you get it started, it works pretty well for gluing things down. Um, or use your own glue. School glue works just as well. Uh, so once you're all done with your project, whatever you want to do, we want to see your creations. Honor your instructions. We have the email address. Just send us a picture. You can do send us a picture of you holding your artwork or just the artwork. It doesn't matter. And we're going to put things together into a virtual art show in July since we won't have art law we will have a PBL art, virtual art show. Okay, so play around with your things, create something, your new masterpiece, share it with us, and we will see you next time. So have a good day, everyone, and we'll see you next week.